All right, here we go, everybody. What's up? This is Jose Trujillo. I just wanted to uh, do a little video right here for you nice people on, on the YouTube. We're going to do a painting of a still life. This is a canvas that measures 12 by 12 inches. Let's see if you guys can see that. Uh, let me see if I can do a... Even a little bit more of a close up. I think that's about it right now. So let's get this going. Sorry about the noise in the background. I, I got a little bit of noise. That's part of it right now in my studio. So I'm going to start out by creating a very simple uh, silhouette. Okay, very simple silhouette right here for my still life. Look at that. The water's going to be right here. And then we're going to have some stems coming in there. Look at that. So I was doing a, uh, uh, a video earlier on Instagram where I was uh, talking to some of my friends. Some of my friends there about um, some of the new projects that I've been working on that I'm really excited about. And uh, the projects that I've been working on are about video workshops that I've been doing. I'm very excited about these new video workshops since people have been asking me to do them for a while. And so I just got, whoops, sorry about the shaking. Yes, I don't have something shake right there. And I just got, I just got to them right now. Um, I started releasing those video workshops. The first one that I released uh, recently was uh, how to market on, on Instagram, how to sell your artwork, market and sell your artwork on Instagram. People have asked me for this for quite some time now. And... Uh, and as, as some of you know, I, I do coaching for artists. I like to uh, uh, share my, my, my knowledge, what I've learned throughout the years with other artists. And so I do coaching, and but it's $300 an hour and not everybody, uh, not everybody's affording it, especially right now. And so I wanted to do something that was, you know, how can I continue to give this value um, of course, people, lots of people still uh, uh, have their jobs, but a lot of people don't. And so, how can I, how can I bring some value um, to other people who are being affected right now? And one of the things that I thought about was the video workshops. Why don't I start doing some video workshops uh, from this uh, coaching topics? And so. I decided to do this video workshops. The video workshop that I did recently was, like I said, was about selling artwork on Instagram. Lots of people were really interested in it, and I had a really, I had a really fun time creating it. And I just, it's been a lot of fun doing this video workshops. It also keeps me, it keeps me um, with, um, keeps me enthusiastic about the work, you know not spending um, so much time just uh, just painting I'm, I'm spending some more time creating this, this workshops and so it's a lot of fun look at this I'm also going to be doing some workshops on painting still lives uh, people want to ask, you know people have asked me like how do you mix the colors how do you prepare the canvas and on and on uh, how do you decide which colors to use and all these things so I'm, I'm pretty excited about sharing this this videos as well that will be pretty cool anyways I'm excited I've been pretty excited about it look at that this is what I love about oil painting the thickness of it I was saying earlier in a video that I did on, on Instagram and what I love about this thing is that you push the paint. It's not so much that you drag it, you push it because it's because there's a thickness to it. 
even if you even if you thin it down or you know, whatever you do with it, I, I like to I like to reduce a bit with um, with oil. But some people don't get me. I guess a lot, a lot of people still don't get me when I when I talk about this because they're like they're like, well, you do it so that you can paint faster, right? No, I do it so that my wrists don't hurt because they paint so much. So it, it, it's not about painting faster. It's about it's about doing what works for you. I paint for several hours a day, and and so. What ends up hurting most is my wrist. I talked about that. <laughs> I don't want to be appearing here like a like a weak person, but, but from time to time it, it bothers me if I'm painting for many hours. And so not anymore, but it used to a lot. And so I I started I started doing certain things, you know, like um, using big broad brushes. Another because because I can apply more paint that way, right? I don't have to do it often enough to enough. I can apply more paint with a big brush. And another thing that I started doing was was uh, mixing oil with my paint, pre-mixing it so that it's uh, it's smooth. It's not as heavy. I'm not trying to make it into acrylic. Some people have this idea that. Oh my god, I love the way you paint. Uh, how do you turn your paint to look like acrylic? I'm like, I'm, I'm not doing it on, on purpose. I'm not, I'm not looking for, for a, to convert or try to convert oil paint into acrylic. That's impossible. Even if it was possible, why would you do that? Oil paint is oil paint. Acrylic is acrylic. They're two different monsters. Two different beasts. Um... You know, I love all the properties of oil, oil paint for what it is and acrylic for what it is. So I don't try to use one for, you know, like I don't try to substitute it. So now, you know, I, I, I do certain things in my, in my studio with my paint um, for certain reasons. And then the main reason is because I, I paint quite a bit. I paint more than the average artist. I paint for hours and hours a day, and so that gives me a little bit of leverage when it when it comes to uh, my my hands not hurting as much, um, covering more space, and and a few other things that you might learn if you stick around enough. <laughs> if you stick around long enough, you're you're gonna start learning more of the stuff that I that I do, of course why I do them, how I do them. Um, so I'm gonna be opening more up on those videos. I'm gonna actually put everything in it. Um, this video got me really excited about uh, selling on Instagram because I, I just, I put it all on the table. Exactly how I do it, why I do it. Why is it so important to not have um, uh, you don't need to, and it's not like it's so important, but you don't need to have that many followers in order to pull this thing off. You just got to want to do it. That's all. That's what matters. You want you just want to do it, and it'll start working. It's got to be enthusiastic. That's the word I was looking for. got to be enthusiastic about it. So nice and creamy. It's like pancake batter. It's like I'm painting with pancake batter, batter, or or butter. <laughs> if, if if butter had a came in different colors. That's what it feels like. Anyways, if you'd like to get that um, video workshop that I created, uh, I'm going to put a link below for that workshop. It's it's $49. It's not free. I do a lot of free stuff. I put a lot of free stuff out there. But these videos have all the, all the meat, meat and potatoes in there. So they're not free. They have everything in there. And... Uh, these are for more serious artists, okay? This is not, 
if you just uh, if you're just playing around with it and you you know you're hoping that somehow you're gonna puzzle it together over years uh, then that video is not for you that video is for someone who is actually um, looking to go to the next stage and and not wait right use someone else's experience in this case mine use my experience rather than wait or learn the hard way boom there it is let me sign this little this little puppy look at that man this is a good painting look at that all right my friends my name is jose trujillo i'm an artist and i hope you enjoy this little segment take care and i'll talk to you soon adios